Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Uh, it's my day off today. We got this in the other day. It's so beautiful. I've just, I've just come out to drive it. It's uh, what a fantastic car, honestly. It's not the usual test drive and, and walk around I do. It's just for my enjoyment, really. And I, and I just thought I'd video it too, so you can see what it's like to actually uh, be a Sunday driver. That's the that's the key. Um, it's I would I would say it's a proper sports car. It's got, not got too many gimmicks on it, but it's such a joy to drive. Um, and this I mean you don't even need a stereo. The sound is just awesome. So it's remote locking, remote central locking. You click the button and the door handles flip out. They've got Jaguar written on. It's such a beautiful looking car, lovely inside. Jags make the best interiors. And, and do you know what? I, I think they might just make the best driving cars too. Um, right, so I took the key away. I'll put, put it there for the time being. Now listen to this. I'm going to open the door so you can hear it perhaps a bit better. But we've got the key on, foot on the brake. It's and then you, you've got an even better button, the, the best button in the whole car, this button here. Now somebody I follow on Twitter, um, his girlfriend said to him there, uh, what does the sunglasses button do? And that's it, <laughs> that's the sunglasses button. I'll, I'll try and cut a close up in for you. In fact, I'll, I'll take it now. Um, but as I've said before, that girl's a keeper because once you've seen that as a sunglasses button, you just you just can't you can't not see it. It's it that's not a picture of an exhaust, that is sunglasses. Anyway, also I'm here at uh, possibly other than our garage, my second favourite garage where uh, I came many years ago, it was about 13 years ago. That used to be the that used to be the Ducati store over there. Amari's taking it over now, and the Ducati garage is there. But I came to look at uh, motorbikes, and then I heard this uh, almighty roar. And I came out of the Ducati showroom and. Walk around here. I didn't even know the place was here, and there was a Lamborghini. <laughs> Somebody revving a Lamborghini up, and I went in there. And uh, about three weeks later, I was working for Amari. Uh, anyway, he's expanded now. <laughs> Gone from strength to strength since I left. <laughs> it's uh, got some fantastic cars. I've just been looking in the showroom now. It's just. It used to be like a dream for me going in there every morning and seeing all those cars and right in front of my desk there was a, a 450 mile Lamborghini Countach black with the uh, light silver grey leather just in front of me. I, I, I mean I, I used to have that on my wall when I was a kid and then it was in front of my desk. It wasn't mine unfortunately but there you go. Right so I, uh, well that's, that's a lens cap I've just bought, I'll have to stick that somewhere. But what a car this is. Um, the, the, the lock on the front wheel, if you're reversing, you can virtually reverse it 90 degrees. The steering is so precise. The suspension is reasonably hard, but not, not too hard. It's a comfortable ride, considering. Uh, and the exhaust, oh, there's a flipping lorry here, which means I won't be able to give it the beans going up the... Uh, Dual, oh, sorry, up onto the motorway. 
which is what you really need to hear. It's got a fantastic stereo, trust me. But you just, no, not this stop start off. Put the sunglasses button on. Just listen, noise. Just gonna drop back a little bit here. No doubt annoy everybody behind me. But it's not like we can do anything else. Doing 39 miles an hour at the moment. Coming onto the M6. And then, are you ready? We've got a gap in the traffic. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> it was, um, when I was coming on the, the M6 this morning, I don't drive fast usually but there was a, a lad in a, a suit up Astra and we're at the traffic lights there and he come in the outside lane and it was obvious he was going to go left and up the motorway and I'm not kidding I, I put my foot down in this not not going too fast and it's the first time because since I got it since John brought it back all I've done is go home and back in it it's the first time I, I like made it angry and the noise it, but the thing is you just don't want to take your foot off the sorry to like now I'm in all this traffic I just want to gun it I want to gun it and go down the flipping down the outside lane you know, this guy in front with his Sayonara number plate I wish he would Oh no, he's going the same way as me as well. Anyway, we, we can do a little bit of... Uh, we're going off here, but I'm going left at the top. There's two lanes. This <laughs> Oh, I hope he doesn't go through the lights. No, he's not gone through the lights. Let's have a look. Oh, what I didn't notice as well. SB55 Jag. That's that's a good looking Jag, sir. We'll give him a wave. <laughs> proper, proper cars. Jaguar drivers. Why do I like Jaguar so much? Um, I, I think EVs these days, that they, they won't take off properly. They will take off in the end, but they won't take off properly till the generation of people like me die out, which won't be too long. When I was younger, some of my happiest memories were tinkering about with my dad learning how to do stuff in the garage on his Jaguar Mark II. More the the like more shape, 3.4 engine, big thick seats. It, it, it probably always run perfect, but my dad always wanted to try and make it run better, which is obviously rubbed off on me. A, you know, a kind of a big petrol head, and and I, I love cars. I love the internal combustion engine. It's magical. It really is the way everything, the way you have to get everything in sync, timed to, to perfection. All those moving parts, they've all got to do the the right thing at precisely the right time in order for the car to move forward. The gearbox, the the axle, the diff you know the steering it's fantastic there's so many moving parts it's just a work of art an absolute work of art but 
if you don't know, if you've never worked on one and you don't know and you don't know the magic that goes on underneath the bonnet, you know, from some somebody called it dinosaur juice. Great analogy, dinosaur juice. For that crude oil to be processed into petrol, to go in here, <laughs> to power the car, it's and to make it sound like this. It's such fantastic enjoyment. To me it is anyway. And I just don't get any of that. I love driving. I absolutely love it. You know, a nice country lane, nice day, great music. I love driving. I could just go out all day and drive. But in an electric car, I've no interest at all. They just leave me cold. They do nothing for me. They go, they go faster than a fuel, you know, a, a, a petrol car. But so what? I, I'd rather go around. I'd rather drive around an old classic than a brand new EV. But this, you know, this car. I'm trying to make sure I'm not speeding here. I'll put the sat nav on because well, it's 50 miles an hour, so we're, we're doing 50. As I say, it, it's it's quite basic. And I love it. The, the seating position, the, the seats, it's got uh, three position memory seats. It's got the lumbar support here. It's got the, you can wind the sides in to, to, to grip you. The suspension on a, on a smooth road like this is good enough. It's certainly not too harsh. But you find yourself hoping the traffic lights change when you're at the front. <laughs> Unlike these lot who, who were just stopped at green light. <laughs> the rear spoiler. I, I have a minor complaint. I think that the Jaguar badge on the rear spoiler should rotate when the rear spoiler comes up because you can see it in your rear view mirror you can see the spoiler angled up but you can and but the jaguar's the wrong way around which is annoying it's a design fault by jaguar but i'll just i'll just put the i'll just put the rear spoiler up there you go you should be able to see it from the back camera now and you should be able to see that the <laughs> the Jaguar is the wrong way around I'm looking in the mirror and it says well I can't see from the camera now but it, anyway it's wrong we'll put it back down there you go it's back down it's, it, as I say seats are perfect I love this, the handle here on the on the passenger side. But it's not just a handle, it's a don't touch any of my buttons barrier. It, it would be better if it was up like that. And they're all, this is mine, this is my cockpit. Got paddle shift. nice sports car like dash rev counter coolant temperature gauge fuel gauge speedo sorry actually that's the other way around <laughs> that speedo's on the left rev counters on the right the way it goes around corners tremendous you can knock the selector along over so the selectors there in sport, change down like so. Change up. <laughs> and the, the pop, pop, pop there. I tell you what, today, I came out in this and honestly, the, the idiots that are on the road, it's just unbelievable. 
my lane's clear. The guy in the other lane overtook, giving him fair, fair dues. He gave him a metre to spare. The only thing was, he didn't give me a metre to spare. And if I hadn't slowed down, I'd have hit him head on on my side of the road. And he looked at me like it, it was me that was the, the idiot. Then somebody in a discovery did a U-turn on a dual carriageway right in front of me. There was, there was another chap who'd come through the wait here at the red lights um, sign. There's a the road was cordoned off, <laughs> and he, he was virtually on our side of the road. He, he's just been it's just been a nightmare, but I'm still smiling. And the reason I'm still smiling is this car. It's uh, it's got absolutely the only thing I think that could be better. It really it really needs the starter button under a flip up on the gear selector. Just up, start, down. James Bond light. Roads are awful. What are we on? I love it. Please don't buy it. <laughs> Honestly, just just don't buy it. I, th I think I'll probably just put this video on uh, my YouTube site and not on our website or Grosvenor Garage YouTube site <laughs> because if you buy this car while I'm driving it, I've taxed it. Ta well, I taxed it within about half an hour of getting it in the garage. If you buy this car, the service that Basil Faulty supplies will look absolutely brilliant compared to ours. I mean, I, I, I get it, you, you know, you, you see all these shows and you see people accelerating out the, the, they've been in a show and they accelerate out of the gates and there's people there waiting to take the photograph and you see them set off and all of a sudden they fishtail and, and go into a wall or something it, it's just the desire to hear that noise It's just tremendous. I'm going to go left here. There's a there's a, a tea shop in Ribchester, but uh, even more, even better, there's some lovely windy roads. What a car! What's it got? I mean, I don't even know what it's got. You know, it's got you can set off their snow, or that looks like it's a checkered flag. So that'll be. That will be the dearly beloved button. Oh, look at this. I mean, also, I don't want to go too fast because another incident that I uh, neglected to mention was I was just driving down a country lane, gets to a blind bend, and there's a BMW on the wrong side of the road <laughs> coming around the other way. There we go, there's another one. Give the cyclists a metre of room, but unfortunately, not the guy who's coming at 60 miles an hour the other way. Oh, this, this is just heaven.
this is another car that makes any any day a great day. Go, we've got some lovely cars in at the moment. sleepy town here. I'm not going to wake him up. Well, I'm going to uh, I'm going to finish today's test drive here. I'm going to do one with music on in, in the car, which I'll put on TikTok. And uh, just see what it's like. In fact, I should have gone that way. I should have gone towards Hurst Green. I might turn around in a second. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll finish the drive here. If you want to know any more about the car just want to know you don't want to buy it of course just go to www.ggcars.co.uk and uh, pretty soon there'll be at least one video no doubt it'll be a long video because I just don't want to put this car down oh, that's that's towards chipping Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> Looks like I'm uh, on my way to Chipping Farm Shop then. Just, yeah, give us a, give us a shout if you, but you've got to promise to look after it. <laughs> it's beautiful, is it? An old chap's had it and uh, he's really, really looked after it. There may be a bit of creaking from my jacket to the leather seat. Can only apologize for that. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.